Hi, Carolyn Herforth here with The Biz Truth. I have been asked by more than one entrepreneur, what do you do when you've hit a plateau in your business? Maybe you're not excited, maybe you feel like you've hit the ceiling in terms of how much money you can make with your existing business model. And what I always say is go back to your four Ds, which is my cheat sheet for how to design your business model. And I'll quickly run through them and give an example of what might come up during that process. So the very first thing that you wanna do when you're designing your business model, whether you've hit a plateau or you're just starting out, is declare what you want your business to do for you. So if you're that person who's hit the plateau, what makes you think you're at a plateau? Does that mean you wanna make more money? Does it mean you wanna spend more time traveling uh, lifestyle-wise? Does it mean that you want more time with your kids? Does it mean you have a new passion or purpose or why for what you want to do. Maybe you wanna start doing something outside of your business that ignites you. So maybe there's something that you wanna to do to further your legacy. So think through that, that first D of declaring what you want your business to do for you. So why do you do what you do? What income do you need, want, or fantasize about making? What lifestyle do you want to lead and what legacy do you want to leave behind? So think through those things first and get clear on that. And then go to the second D, which is defining what you want your business to do for others. Has that changed? Has that changed in any way? Maybe as you up level, the clients you work with have up leveled as well. Or maybe you want to start edging over into a new type of client who you work with. So think through that piece as well and then you can start thinking okay now i know that i really want to start traveling more or i want to start a nonprofit for um for this cause or passion of mine and so think through those things and all of a sudden those things will start generating ideas that you can do to change your business model to change up what you want to do you might want to you might say Wow, when I get into designing, which is the third D, d that's designing your business based on what you've declared you want your business to do for you and what you've defined your business does for others, you might start looking at that and saying, wow, you know what, I really wanna create, I wanna create an event. I wanna do more public speaking where people are bringing me onto their stages and I'm getting paid for that. So maybe you've got a new message. So me personally, one of the things that I'm focusing on more is starting to do more speaking. And it's not just about entrepreneurs and business things, it's topics that really affect all women, um, particularly women, audiences of women, um, in terms of the patterns that they deal with and things that keep them stuck. So you might decide that that's another way that you wanna branch out. I would also um, go to your friends and colleagues. You might wanna consider hiring a coach, a business coach or a life coach who can look at your situation and how you might be able to step out and show up in a different way. And then the fourth D is to go do it. So I hope that helps you as you're thinking through some of the things that you might do if you've hit a plateau. I'd love to hear from you if you have any questions or want to talk about it further. And um, I wish you the best in figuring out how to bust through that plateau. Go get them.